Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Flawless Formulations, and we have we are returning now to more viscera cleanup detail. And when we left off, we had begun cleaning up this hallway, at least for the most part. We got a bunch of soot everywhere. As I zapped I zapped all of the big alien parts. At least most of them. And now we are beginning to kind of slow things down and do a lot of pickup. In recent news, I did, um, I've picked up, oh, you can't see it, but I have an achievement down in the corner. Um, I got taken out the trash. I don't know if anyone cares, but it's a thing. Normally that appears on the screen, but apparently not today. Um, no, but I've started playing Dead Island with uh, my brother, and there is the possibility of, um, and we're still talking about it and discussing things, but there is the possibility that, um, Mr. Lisa, who I talk so much about in my videos, is kind of the inspiration for me kind of sticking with YouTube and kind of getting re-inspired with it, and especially with uh, the Viscera Cleanup Detail stuff. Um, he may be joining me, and so I'm, I'm very excited for that. I'm very, very much excited for the idea of playing with, with somebody I, I very much respect and I enjoy his work, and it'll be cool to um, get that going. Hopefully that works out, but... Uh, whether or not that works out is is something that we're still discussing and trying to figure out a good date for. So hopefully we can find some time to make that work, even if it's just if he's there, not even for every episode, but for a lot of them, a fair amount, enough to say that he was a part of the series, but um, people have other things going on other than playing video games in their lives, so I will be understanding if if there are days where things don't work out, because that is life. Such is life. I am quite excited for the point where we get to just simply walk around and mop things. That'll be quite a fun time, for me at least. Because that's my favorite part, is just mopping. I don't know what it is, but I guess kind of because that's that's your expectation when you boot up this game, is just mopping. And so, all the time, like, yes, picking up the little jibs are nice. And I found out they are called jibs. If you actually, if you look it up, um, I believe it was a term, maybe not coined by id Software, but it was made, it was a term kind of created because of all of the gore from the original Doom. So, um, whatever that means to you, um, whether or not the controversy around it was a good thing or not, and whether or not the original Doom being kind of the, the father of shooters, whether that's a good thing or a negative thing in your opinion, um, I believe they're the reason that the word jibs exist, and they're the, it's pronounced jib, I found out. It's the G-I-B word that everyone says, like, when you blow somebody up, it's pronounced jib. I found that out. Because um, there's a man... Uh, named Ahoy, I believe is his YouTube channel, who did a, like, a history of, he does, like, a lot of history of games and things, and he did one over Doom, which is actually one of my favorite games, and, um, all the Dooms, not just the new Doom. The new Doom is fantastic, by the way, but original Doom as well, um, but he did a, a little series on that, it, it was, I guess it was one long video, more of, like, a podcast, it wasn't a lot to watch, but... It was very informative if you're into the Doom universe at all, if you have any investment in Doom. Um, and it turns out it is called a jib. So, that is a fact. That's just a fact for you there. Also, speaking of Doom, mainly the original Doom, but possibly the new Doom as well. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just going to leave them. I'll come back and clean it up when I get here. There's no need fussing over it if I'm going to have to come back and clean it up anyways. Um, but speaking of original Doom, a um, bit of an odd segue, I have to admit. Um, but speaking of original Doom, I have been pondering the idea of playing some original Doom modded in some form or another. Is that a weird blood splotch? It is, okay. Um, but I'm wondering if you guys would have any interest in that. If anyone would be interested in seeing some original Doom modded gameplay. If that, if that sounds like a good time. Because I'm not, I have actually been playing a lot of modded Doom recently. Just in my own free time as just a thing that I do for fun. 
and uh, I was wondering if you guys would like me to record it and share it because I'm I don't know um, I guess this is the episode of me talking about other youtubers um, but there's a man who goes by um, Icarus lives I believe it is who does a lot of uh, mod reviews he has a series called um, do mod madness and I've been watching a lot of that and kind of picking up a lot of mods under his recommendation and they're all very very good mods most of them are very top tier mods some of them of course he, he goes into you go into them and you can tell that they're joke mods or things like that but um, no they're all very good mods and a lot of them are big story based mods and things of that nature and I'm wondering if anyone has any interest in something like that because I've been sinking quite a lot of time into it in my free time just because I find the original Doom quite fun. Um, there's something about just running around and just blowing things to bits that I find quite fun, and especially in original Doom, that is the entire purpose of the game. There's no story to be had, there's no cutscenes to talk over, it is simply killing. And I gotta be honest, it's quite a good stress release sometimes. Sometimes you just come home from a day, in my case, you come home from class, and you're just like, I just want to kill somebody because you've had a stressful day or you have a lot of homework that isn't due until next week, but you're still stressed out about it because you have to write perhaps three essays. You have to listen to 45 minutes worth of lectures online and then write a response to it or something of that nature. And, or you come home from work, whatever the case may be, and you're just stressed and you're like, I need to kill something. And so instead of, instead of murdering your family, you can murder demons. Seems to be a lot healthier of a pastime, in my opinion, to murder demons. I mean, murder your family if you want, it's your life to live, but I would not recommend the murder of your family. It does not sound like a thing you want to do. Man, this game just makes my mind wander, doesn't it? That's one thing that I find about playing a game as open-ended as this, um, is since the objective is such a such a calming objective, it's just oh yeah, just pick things up and clean things. Um, it's very easy to get sidetracked. There's not a lot going on in the game necessarily to drive any sort of narrative, any sort of commentary. There's there's really nothing like that going on in this game. So it's very much just whatever comes to your mind, and I think that's a dangerous thing for somebody like me who's who's quite boring. Honestly, I'm a very boring individual. In my own, in my own right, I'm a very boring man. Very boring. Ugh. I need to find this Chinese rest food restaurant and tell them to stop serving food to like places that may like all these places that are doing all this biogenetical research and stuff. They keep selling them Chinese food, and I just keep finding their boxes everywhere. So maybe we can try to find a biodegradable option or something of the sort. Is that bullet gonna fall out? That bullet just rose up out of the corner and tried to make a grand escape. I hope you saw it. Uh, if you didn't see it, go back. It was on the uh, on the right hand side of the box there, and uh, it, it was it was going for it. It was going for the big grand escape. Uh, I guess I need one more one more bin. We're getting close, everybody. We're, we're getting quite close. But um, we will never, in fact, be close enough to be done. Um, because this map, as soon as I think we're making some real progress, some real headway, I turn around and find that there's an entire hallway that I have missed. Or there's still that main room where the bins come from that I still have yet to go down and clean. Also, I need to make a point to use the sniffer because I I really haven't used the sniffer and I should if I want to get a hundred percent I should probably also also I, I installed this I thought I was recording earlier before the recording actually started and I, I put in I installed that medkit there so just so you guys are up to speed I did not mean to leave you guys out on the on the joy that is installing medkits but you know, sometimes I just get really excited about cleaning, and so I I get a little hasty and get a little ahead of myself sometimes, and I'm sorry. But I have to forgive me, I'm just a poor, simple janitor. I'm just working to feed my family. I feel like in real life, being a janitor would actually be kind of a neat job. To just kind of clean stuff. 
because you always kind of get the option to bring music with you, just like you do in this game, but I can't for copyright purposes, which is lame. Um, stupid copyright on, on the internet. Uh, I actually got another copyright strike recently on an XCOM video, which was strange. And I realized that my mic wasn't even on in that video, so literally if I had turned the music off, there would have been no sound. And so I don't understand what the big fuss is. What if it's just a silent playthrough? Part of the game, part of if you're playing through a game and someone's watching it to understand, do I want to purchase this game? Which is a lot of times what people do with Let's Plays in the sort is um, it, the soundtrack is a big part of it. And I know it's a big part of it for me. Uh, very much for me, a, a good or terrible soundtrack can and has make or break a game. It, it can totally just draw me out of the experience if it has just a subpar soundtrack. And I know that sounds a little... Uh, that might sound a, a little... Oh, I got the pedestrian achievement. I don't know what that means, but it is a bloody footprint, so I'm assuming that means I've tracked... 50,000 footprints or something of the sort. So, yay us. Yay way to go achievements. Also, um, I, I'm going to check here. It's super, very unprofessional. Incredibly, I can't even check. Okay, so if all goes well, it shouldn't be recording outside of this game window. I don't, I don't know at the moment. But um, I did switch it to windowed mode before I started recording. And it was technically set to record the whole desktop, so I don't know what it's decided to do. If it has decided to just record the desktop anyways, and you can see all of my things. Or if it has decided to play nice and just record the game as I've asked. Also, have I read this? I have not read this, okay goddamn company. Once again I'll miss Little Johnny's smile as he opens his presents this year. I've been forced to remain in this hunk of metal under the sea. I don't even know what the hell we're doing down here. I know one thing though. Whatever it is can't be good. I've caught glimpses of weird shit through the viewing windows. Inge indigenous sea creatures maybe? I don't know. I keep, I keep hearing something. Big. Something big. Knocking on the hull. I swear, something is out there. I don't know why. I had a very serious, like, just a brain derp in the middle of that sentence. I just couldn't read. I just, I can't read. So that is a problem. Is that note gonna, that note is, I think, going to stay in there? I believe it is. Let's hope it does, because it, it most definitely needs to. I don't need it in there. I just, it's, it's in my way, I don't, I'm not in need of its services. Okay, so I think, I believe, okay, okay, Barrel, Barrel, just stay. I believe if I have done everything properly, which I think I have, I liked it, okay, no I didn't. Glad I'm checking. I was going to say, if I had done everything properly, like I should have, then it was going to be time to start mopping, but obviously I need to do a double check, because I am... No! Look at me, just flubbing about. I'm no good at this game. I was hoping it was time to start mopping, but it looks like it's not, so I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, do a double check, and we, we can start doing a little bit of mopping. We should probably start from the back. Start from back here probably in this corner, and uh, we should get to mopping. 